the only issue in this tutorial and the thing I'm not going to be covering is the S's so for example if it was one day you wouldn't want this S suffix you just want one day uh, but you know I'm not going to include that in the tutorial it's probably something you can go ahead and do in your own time uh, just to sort of give you a little challenge um, so now that we've done this form we don't really need to touch anything on this main page because ext.js is going to call the countdown uh, plugin and it's going to apply it to uh, this countdown div so let's go ahead and inside here we want to say document.ready uh, and remember this is the file that's just going to be calling our plugin as opposed to actually you know performing this functionality so document and we're appending the ready handler once this is ready we're going to run everything inside of here and that is selecting our countdown div using the hash because we're selecting by ID uh, we're going to say countdown dot and then countdown now countdown is the name of our plugin for now I'm not going to specify any options or callback function in here we're going to do that at each, each stage of creating our plugin itself uh, so we'll leave that for just a moment um, now let's go over to countdown.jQuery.js and actually start creating the plugin. Now notice that I've got this included here and then I've got ext.js included here as well. Uh, just make sure that this one here comes after jQuery because obviously uh, it needs to take advantage of jQuery. So let's go ahead and start to outline our function. If you've already looked at creating functions this will be quite you know, for me, you'll be quite familiar with the code here. Uh, but what we're essentially saying is uh, function in brackets entirely with the dollar sign here. Uh, this is just the notation that we're going to be using. And inside these curly brackets, which we're going to bring down, we're going to uh, give a name to our function and create everything to do with it. However, just after here, we want to say jQuery. Uh, and this allows us to use uh, notation in a different way. For example, dollar sign dot fn dot and then our function name so uh, before we would have to use jQuery like this here we can just use a dollar sign so dollar sign dot fn and we want to call our function remember countdown so that's quite basic we just write countdown uh, it tells us what we want to do etc uh, and what we're going to do is we're not going to supply pr um, parentheses sorry what we're going to do is we're going to say equals function now everything inside of here will be our plugin code so at the moment what I want to go ahead and do is just alert out working now what's going to happen is inside ext.js because we're we're making use of this plugin as long as we've declared everything properly we'll just have an alert uh, box come out so let's refresh and you can see that we've got the alert box working so we know that our plugin declaration is working uh, and we can go ahead and start to write the rest of our code now the first thing we want to do is uh, and allow the user to give some options into this and that option is specifying the date that they want to count down to. So we're going to be using date.pass and this is going to take a st uh, string date and it's going to convert it into a timestamp. So for example I could write the 10th of August um, 2011 at 12 o'clock and 30 seconds just as an example this would be a way that we could write out a date that which would then be converted into a timestamp so we want to allow the user to specify this date inside the plugin as we call it uh, so let's go ahead and just inside of here choose um, an options parameter now we want to go ahead and set a list of settings that we can merge with these options and these will be this will be an array of default values that we apply to each uh, option that we allow our user to give so I'm going to create a, um, a, a an array called settings and inside here the I'm going to say date and the default value is going to be null because I want the user to actually be able to specify a date I don't want this countdown script uh, to work if I don't uh, if we don't specify a date um, and later on we're going to do a check to see if this date value is equal to a number or if it's not um, NAN in JavaScript NAN like written like this with capital N and capital N here uh, which stands for not a number so we want to make sure that this date is a number as well uh, however we'll be handling the validation a bit later okay so now we want to extend these settings into our options um, where essentially what we're doing is taking options from the user and if they do exist we are merging them with this here so we'll essentially just be merging uh, the date this string here into this value here so date then equals the right you know setting so we're gonna say if options I has the user specified any options at all so here 
and I'm doing all this all in one line but feel free to bring it down and indent it if you wish I'll probably go ahead and do that uh, just so it looks a bit better then we're going to say dollar sign again using dollar sign as opposed to jQuery because this is how we uh, set up our function so dollar sign dot extend and we want to choose our uh, array and then the options that we've passed in so this is settings and options so we've now extended our settings to our options and we've merged the value here uh, and replaced this null value here so now what we can do is access our settings uh, through that array so down here I'm just going to go ahead and alert our settings and because we're using uh, an array we need uh, square brackets and I'm going to say date so we're getting this value here that's been merged with the options that we passed through uh, let's go ahead and refresh and you can see that we have that string uh, or that yeah that string date there